Hi, this is Joe Freeman, senior writer for The Oregonian. Let's talk a little Pac-12 conference football. Or, should I say, let's talk about the best conference in college football. That's right. After two weeks of the season, the Pac-12 has emerged as the best in the country. What about the SEC? What about the Big Ten, you ask? Well, so far, the Pac-12, even on its deathbed, has been better. Let me explain. Pac-12 teams have compiled an impressive 20-3 non-conference record so far this season. It's the best mark of any conference in the Power Five. Pac-12 teams have defeated the SEC once, the Big Ten twice, and the Big 12 three times over the first two weeks. Washington State upset number 19 Wisconsin last week. Utah beat Florida and Baylor. The Ducks won at Texas Tech, which had only lost two non-conference home games in the last 23 years. And then there's Colorado. Led by brash new coach Deion Sanders and a ridiculous amount of transfers, the Buffaloes have become the story of college football after opening the season with wins over TCU and Nebraska. And I haven't even mentioned the top two teams in the conference, number five USC and number eight Washington, which are ranked in the top eight and most believe have legitimate championship aspirations. This week, the Pac-12 landed eight teams, yeah, eight teams in the AP top 25. It's the most in conference history and the second most in the history of the poll. The conference features the reigning Heisman Trophy winner in USC's Caleb Williams and perhaps the best collection of quarterbacks in the country. Behind Williams, there's Michael Penix Jr., Bo Nix, Shadur Sanders, DJ Uyagalale, Cameron Ward and Cam Rising. There's also one of the most talented freshman quarterbacks in the country in Dante Moore in UCLA. Now, it's only been two weeks. Things can and probably will change, but it's clear. Their star power, legitimate championship aspirations, and depth. And in the final season of the Pac-12 as we know it, the conference is loaded.